Jimmy Fallon, the new host of The Tonight Show, had Michelle Obama on last night, wrapping up his first week as the new host of the show after Jay Leno was pushed out despite having number one ratings for 20 years uh, because he just took the gloves off and actually went after Obama. Unlike Democratic operative Jimmy Fallon, who literally had Michelle Obama on the show for the sole purpose to promote her Obamacare propaganda. You may be familiar that Jimmy Fallon had a surprise visit by Barack Obama in the past to Slow Jam the News, where the two just sung about how cool President Obama is and how bad the Republicans are, uh, particularly about Obama's plan to try to stop the interest rates from rising on student loan debt. Uh, this, while Jimmy Fallon's sole uh, commercial income outside of his show is that of pitching Capital One credit cards. <laughs> Way to go, Jimmy. Let's get your mentally enslaved morons deeper into debt with credit cards. That's fantastic. Capital One credit card just uh, updated their new terms of service where they said that if you just make some late payments, uh, they will stop by your house <laughs> or workplace. That's right. The um, recent contract update include uh, terms that sound, well, just plain creepy. Uh, according to some reports, the update specifies that, quote, we may contact you in any manner we choose, uh, such uh, as email, texts. Oh, they're just going to start texting you every day. Faxes or a personal visit. Oh, this can be at your home or your place of employment. That's right, debt slaves. <laughs> You're going to have a knock on the door from your Capital One bankster buddy uh, after getting deeper into debt. Oh, I wasn't joking about Jay Leno getting forced out because he was too hard on, on Obama. Jay Leno hosted The Tonight Show for 22 years. He was number one for the last 20 years, which doesn't make any business sense at all to get rid of somebody who's number one for two decades. But, of course, uh, Johnny Carson's head writer uh, basically admitted that Leno got pushed out because he was going too hard on Obama. I remember when Obama first became president, none of the late-night talk shows would dare touch him. Uh, and Leno was the first one to pull off the gloves and had b been relentlessly pounding Obama for his just, you know, the Obamacare hoax, the con game for the National Spying Agency, uh, for just about every con that Obama had pulled. And that just doesn't fly when you're working for NBC, a major establishment propaganda tool. Uh, so they replaced him with Jimmy Fallon. Of course, can't make it through his first week on the show without having the first lady appear to literally promote Obamacare. That was her sole purpose for appearing on the show. Way to go, Jimmy. Such cleverly disguised propaganda for the mainstream mentally enslaved morons. So anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and my playlists. And stay tuned because there's more videos coming soon.